I've sunk an enemy destroyer. In the heat of the battle, where the waves collide, small and sprout cuts through the ocean, gliding wing with pride, with her guns blazing bright. She's the hunter in the night, best gunboat destroyer, ready for the fight. Oh, small and you're the hunter, you're the killer of the seas, with your cannons roaring thunder, bringing enemies to their knees. No destroyer stands a chance when you're on the prowl. Small and you're the legend. Hear the Hey team, this is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got another fun video with the small end. And uh, man, this is a great video. I had to show you the replay on and show it off, but it's really awesome. And if you guys got it, there's some uh, cool tips. If you want to watch it, uh, learn from it and uh, see what you can do with the capabilities of the small end before we begin. You guys uh, want to support the channel, like subscribe bell button below. Appreciate all the support of those who have really built the community up. I had to make this a great place. Really friendly people out there, especially in this game. Friendly Yorktown really uh, was uh, already t calling for cover and post game really, um, you know, said good words afterwards as well. So kudos on you. I love that. I love you guys are building a great community and learning something from it at the same time. And we're having a blast doing it. So let's get right to it. So what is the small in? If you have, you can see it right in front. Small in is the. Uh, Basically, the Smallen, the European Tier 10 of heavy gunboat, fast gunboat, radar, engine boost, kind of just a mean knife fighter. I mean, it, this thing literally goes in and just wrecks havoc. I compare this almost to like a bully or caps, just like the, the Vampire 2 does. Uh, maybe a yeah, Gdansk does as well. Gdansk is kind of like the you know, hybrid version of this thing. The Ragnar is the older brother of this thing. Uh, this cool thing about small end, you get torpedoes, you get two sets of guns, or fast reload. You can see right out in the bottom there, 1.5 second reloads. You got the engine boost that really speeds this thing up, plus 30% on the engine boost. You got heals, you got radar. What more do you want from this ship? I mean, this thing literally does it all. So um, taking a look right here, we're already within 7.5 kilometers range of the, uh, the uh, destroyer. So I know my radar will be effective if he goes dark. So he, right now I'm popping the radar right now because he's about to go dark. He popped his smoke and that forces him out of the cap. So then we're just going to go ahead and, uh, you know, get him out of there, pushing a little bit more and just aiming slightly above. And, of course, I'm using the engine boost in the background. You can see right there going back and forth. I already dodged one set of shells right there from the Montana. That's why the hit indicator up at the top, an exclamation point, when that flash is red because I've I built for incoming fire alert, that is exactly what allows me to be aware of my situation and and hey i got somebody shooting at me slam on the brakes to throttle juke whatever you got to do even change your vector which will throw a lot of shells up the uh, also the small one has some great aa by the way look at this look at the amount of damage we're throwing on the kaga i know he's only tier eight and uh just melting you're gonna see we're also gonna be an aa platform as well this thing does it all look at that carrier also providing smoke cover man very good communication right there although i don't like cvs but this player was really nice at doing that i got the rpf indicator uh, again this is why i like situational awareness I've got the RPF indicator showing that something is out to the south here, and there we were correct. There is the Shimakaze. Uh, we're calling for the carrier to spot, and here we go. This is the uh, long-range kind of gun build of the small one, uh, shooting out to 13.7 right there. Now, it is a little wonky to hit. It's not as uh, accurate maybe as the Grozevoy or Elbing or even Ragnar, that is. Uh, the, the guns are a little lofty. They kind of have a slight arc to them, but hey, you know what? They have a really incredible reload. And really, again, you can see me dodging juke and shells right there. We're going to let the Shimakaze go and, again, pick your battles. So he's already running away. No point in chasing myself to my death. And I'm going to go back and help with Charlie Cap as well. So, again, what does a good uh, DD player do? Tips of success right here. One, you got to use your speed to get around the map. And then, of course, you're going to also use your gun power. Right now, you can see bullying destroyers, spotting ships. Now, we're also going to start fires on the Montana and draw fire. So, we're going to go back and while doing this, we're going to go back and cap Charlie. Notice that the Montana is looking at me. There it is. See that indicator incoming? That means I'm going to slam on the brakes. going to change my vector a little bit there. And all these shells will just go right in front of me. So pretty awesome right there. Only get maybe taking one hit, scratching the paint, but that's all right. And here we are. He wasted his shot on me rather than shooting at my buddy Vermont. And I'm going to go ahead and use my deep, incredible DPM. Smallin has got the second best DPM of the game as of this date. Second to the Marceau, which is also my favorite uh, destroyer. I'll do a bit, another video on that. But man, Smallin is literally the o broken OP destroyer of the game. Again, somebody else firing at me right there. I think he overshot and fired at Demont Vermont right there. So that registered as a shot to me. But it's okay. We're going to keep on firing right here. 
See if we can start another fire again. Smallin's really, really, with the amount of DPM and the amount of shells going down range, you can really do a lot of uh, damage with the fires going on. And uh, RPF indicator is showing that, hey, we got something maybe in front of us on the left here. That's probably the lightning or something else. So there's a lot of destroyers there at Charlie. I think I've got three destroyers at Charlie. So you know what? We're going to do the best we can and hold them off on our own right here. And with a little backup from the Vermont. So let's go ahead and push the cap back in. We are capping right now. And looks like RPF is showing. Yep, we got the Minigumo, Lightning, and Shemakaiza. Here's the sheer power. And uh, let's see if we can take care of this right here. With the help of the carrier, he's coming back. We're in good communication right there. RPF is indicating front. We are within range. And we pop the radar, 7.5 kilometer radar. And then watch the DPM just go ahead and shred Shemakaze. Now, notice a free look. I'm using my right mouse button there. I press from free look so I can look around and have situational awareness of the other two DDs because you always want to be keeping your head on a swivel. Notice like my guns will still be aiming if I'm free looking, which is great. It's still firing and doing my best to aim at this shimmy, shimmy, shake, shake, shimikaze. And that, he's doing a great job. He's really just going left and right, trying to throw off the shells. Bad on me for not seeing these um, torpedoes. I think I take one and I miss the other one. That would, last second one would have killed me right there. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and use the heels again. And the great thing about it being a gun DD gunboat main is having the heels. And that is exactly why you want them because of situations like this where you are literally drawn and taking fire like a madman. Uh, Shimakaze makes a mistake here and he is not going to go and detect it. He's going to go ahead and fire. And you do not want to duke out on a gunboat DD against the small one. And this probably won't eliminate him right there. There it is. Splash one goes down. Now we're switching the mini Gumo here. He makes a mistake too. He wants to fire and play with the small one. And we're going to go ahead and shoot. Check the uh, free look. Make sure we're not going to hit by torpedoes and boom double strike right there and minute gumo goes down we taking out all the destroyers out at charlie cap and that is the game right there for us all right double strike all right so we got the double strike okay here is the sheer power of what the aa can do there's nothing to uh, laugh about look at this so boom 12,486.96 and uh, kaga is not having fun at all my good gravy almighty that was fun right there just watching us shred all those airplanes 35 airplanes shot down so far right there again small and one of the most broken dds in the game has everything that you want in a destroyer it's got decent speed engine boost heels gun power torpedo power aa power radar for uh, taking on those pesky destroyers and really got the range on the guns for starting good fires everything that you want to do as a good destroyer dd main so let's go ahead and push this thing forward and see if we can get back right here again in power of the aa right there showing on it off right there but you know what unfortunately kaga can't do anything about it we're going to go ahead and push through the cap Let's speed through. Yep, doing helping our. And again, what are we supposed to do as a good destroyer player? We're gonna go out and cap and spot and control the area, and then we're gonna go ahead and spot the other destroyers. Now we got the other two destroyers over here. We got the Kleber. We're gonna elect not to open fire and reveal our position. We're gonna see if we can sneak up on the gearing. Kaga is on the enemy side. Has gone down, and they're Wisconsin as well. So it looks like. Yep, Kleber's not having a good day. He's gonna, probably going to take a beating. So we're, what we're going to do right now is the closest RPF indication is that gearing. So as a good destroyer player, we're going to go and use our stealth and sneak ability. Uh, just stay in concealment. And he's poor mistake on the gearing because he doesn't know we're here. Uh, that's why situational awareness is always great. Within 7.5, we're going to pop the radar, and he's going to be within the smoke, and he has nobody to spot for him. Therefore, it's going to be free damage, free town, pound town for us. So here we go. So he has nobody spotting for him. Look, we fired. Yep, we don't go detected. He says, well, I got to come out of the smoke now because I'm just going to take free damage if I don't. So he's now going to try to spot us right here, and here we go. We just basically spotted the gearing for our team. And just taking this free damage as much as possible, if I can aim correctly here. He's just be a little squirrely guy. Could not get a shot on him. But there we go. He goes down. And that is the last destroyer of the game. Like I said, if you lose all your destroyers, you're pretty much, the uh, game is almost over 95% chance that your game is probably going to lose if you lose all your destroyers. Because majority of games I've seen, if you don't have to protect your destroyers, you're pretty much no spotting, no capping, no gunboating, and free torping on you. And that is not a good thing. So... I don't know where the other cruiser, I got, I got, uh, goodness, situational awareness thing is to know where all the enemy ships are. So there's four ships left, or now three. I've got the Kremlin, the Musashi, and I have no idea where this other cruiser is at. And, yep, I go and detect it, but there's smoke in front of me. So we'll throw ahead and some torpedo, again, torpedoing, and just get some more fires on the Musashi right here. We got torpedoes. Oh, crap, where did this come from? Slam on the brakes. Look at the engine, look at the power of the engine boost right there. It slows me down enough so I don't take that torpedo. 
And yep, that torpedo misses me just by a hair, and that is the power of the engine boost right there. Really, really awesome. Gonna have to melt this Musashi right there. Just look at the firepower, raw DPM damage on the superstructure right there. That's what all we're good at. That's the only thing our guns can really penetrate. And there is the Cerberus right there. After we eliminate the Musashi, let's see if we can get eliminate him and get another double kill. There goes one right there, and he is taken down. And here we go, Melton. The uh, Cerberus right here. See if we can get a shot on him. Hopefully, we can get this kill. Hopefully, make it four kills. Can we get it four? Can we get it four? Yes, we do. Four kills for the game. Small and wreck and shop on this map is incredible. Last player left is the Kremlin. Uh, unfortunately, we won't be able to get the um, the um, the Kraken like we wanted. So, great job overall on the team, especially from the Yorktown player. Really awesome being friendly, and we can't thank you guys enough anyways. But the build will be at the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the video. As always, check out uh, the rest of our videos. Number one in the team right there, and Yorktown did a great job. Good job on you for supporting us. And this is the details of the game. I'll throw up the build for the small one uh, for more of a range kind of thing, survivability build. And uh, as always, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, button below. Appreciate all the support. And as always, if you see me out there, say hi, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.